Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to set up an Aruba Instant On Access Point. It's very simple, it's a great product um, and it only takes a few minutes. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to do a couple more videos. We're going to be trying to uh, compare some of these access points. I've got a couple here. I've got a AP22 and AP11. Um, we're going to compare them to uh, Ubiquiti just to try and give you some understanding of what the difference is between the two. But in this video, it's just all about setting them up. Uh, we've got, as I said, two access points here, but the setup is the same. There's lots of different ones. There's, uh, I think there's about six or seven access points in total, um, but all the same, all very simple. So without further ado, let's get on with this. Excuse for the slightly weird camera angle here. I'm just to want to show you how to power these things up and the options you've got. So there's two options, well, a couple of options. Uh, we've got, um, first of all, you can mains power, feed it, so uh, you can just get the adapter, plug it straight in and power it that way. Um, or you can use power over ethernet, it uses 802.3 uh, PoE, um, and you can use that either with just a, like a PoE switch or with a PoE injector. Aruba Instant do have their own switches, um, which we can not, you can obviously use with these products, but it doesn't have to be an Aruba switch. Um, you can use, you know, whatever whatever brand you feel like, as long as it's able to provide that AF uh, power. And then you literally just plug it straight into the uh, Ethernet port there, and you'll see already that it's starting to power up. So the next stage is to get the Aruba Instant On app. So uh, we're just going to search for Aruba. Um, I'm in the Play Store here, um, but it's going to be exactly the same for the Apple App Store. Um, so yeah, just start typing it and it comes up. Obviously, I've already got the app, um, so I don't need to install it. But you just install it and then we'll go to the next stage of creating an account. Okay, so once you've opened up the Aruba Instant on app, uh, you go straight in and uh, you're f faced with this screen. Obviously, if you haven't got an account with the Rubrik Instant on, um, then you can just create an account here, just tap the button, fill in the details, and then that will uh, allow you to, to get on there. You, that is a requirement. You have to do that before um, you set up the access point, and then you just log into the app that way. And there we are, it's found it. So that's the device found. Um, and then you, the next stage is just literally, oh, sorry, just to mention, if you've got lots of devices, they'll all just appear here. Um, so then you say add device. Uh, if you if you were adding multiple devices, you have a little tick list, so you tick off the ones that you wanna you wanna add. Um, right, so the next part is set up your network. And what it means by set up your network is give your uh, network a Wi-Fi name, so an SSID. So if we just call this, we're gonna call this Wi-Fi. I'm going to call this pass, oh, password. Okay, and that's that's fine. In fact, I've got it password one two three just to make it nice and easy. And then we just press uh, continue on that. Right, and the next stage is just pick your country. So in this case, obviously we're right at the bottom, the United Kingdom. Get on there, press OK. And this is the site name underneath. That's what you're going to call it. So I don't want to call it Wi-Fi site because that's a silly name. So let's say, for example, in this one, I'm just going to call it home uh, or office or, off, uh, maybe yeah, let's call it home. Uh, and then we're going to go to continue. Right, and then you say, right, now you, it's ready. So you show it to me. And that that is basically it. That is it set up. So now what you'll notice if you go into, this is what you'll be presented with once it's set up. If you go into the device, you'll see that it's synchronizing. So that little spinny thing there is uh, is basically telling you it's synchronizing. And by synchronizing, what that means is just basically getting the software sorted, getting uh, getting it all up to date, um, adding the uh, Wi-Fi names and the details, etc. cetera. Um, and that will take a little while. It'll probably take like five minutes or so for it to do that. Once it's done, you'll be presented with a green uh, a green circle instead of a spinning circle, and that basically tells you that it's up and running. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the app, but it's very simple, so we just go back there. Um, it just gives you a bit of metrics, so we can obviously see uh, which networks we've got. If we want to add a guest network or other networks, you can just press the little plus button down there, uh, and that allows you to, to add other Wi-Fi networks. Um, if you want to, similarly, if you want to change this one, uh, the Wi-Fi network, you can just click on that uh, and you can just change the settings on that there. Uh, like, for example, if you want to make it WPA3, then you can just tick that little box there and that just allows you to uh, to do that. You just press the little done up here 
uh, and that takes it out. So that's made us WPA3, um, which is a higher, most uh, modern version of the security um, for Wi-Fi. So um, then it's this little bits of other information, pretty obvious, clients are just the devices that are connected. At the moment, we've got no clients connected because we're just setting it up and nothing's got that Wi-Fi credentials, but you will, once it's working, you'll have um, what's connected to it and the signal strength and how, how well that's uh, doing. Um, and then the other one down here is just a little bit of information about what basically what you've been looking at, what's uh, what's been going through the Wi-Fi. Um, just gives you that kind of detail. There's all sorts on here. I don't know how useful that is, but uh, you know, it just gives you some ideas. Maybe if you've got kids, you can keep an eye on, for example, the adult content. Um, make sure they're not looking at things they shouldn't be. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I'll just check in here again. So we're still updating. Um, obviously when it's updating, it is offline. So don't be looking for that Wi-Fi. Um, but I will show you uh, just the green circle, what it looks like when it's done. So there you go, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. Um, so once the access point's all done and it's happy with everything, then uh, that little green circle pops up and it basically tells you it's online. It also tell you how long it's been online for. Um, so it, that's quite useful information. For example, if you think you might've had an outage where, uh, where you lost the access point or you lost your internet connection, then you can just look at that figure and that'll tell you uh, obviously how long it's been connected for. You do also get notifications with these, uh, with these access points. So if it does go offline, you should get a uh, push notification to your, uh, to your uh, phone or tablet. And then that'll tell you, um, you know, what, what's, um, what time it came offline, how long it's been offline for, etc., which is very useful. Okay, well, that is about it. I don't think uh, there's much more to cover here. Um, we're, like I said, we're gonna go into more detail uh, on some of the features of these access points and compare them to Ubiquiti, but at the moment, uh, we're just trying to get it set up. So I hope you like the video. If you do, please give us a like, um, please subscribe uh, to the channel, and you can also follow us on Instagram. Thanks very much.